Hello and welcome to Grid Rule. In this video, we are going to learn how to create this cool stacking cards effect where you have cards scrolled on top of each other as you scroll down. I recently built this for my website where I displayed information about my course in cards which looks really beautiful. I am going to show you how you can create this effect in WordPress using any page builder. My choice of page builder is Bricks Builder so I will be using that. But you can implement this in any other page builder like Elementor, Oxygen or Levy. That's because the way this stacking cards effect works doesn't require you to write any custom CSS or use a third party plugin. We are going to create this effect by just changing 3 CSS properties which are available in majority of these page builders. So let's get started and build this out. The first thing we need to do is build the layout before we add the stacking effect. I have this layout designed in Figma which we'll be building in Bricks Builder. Ok, so I have a blank page open in Bricks Builder and the first thing I'm going to do is add a section and add a padding at the top and the bottom. I'm also going to change the background color of this section by copying the color code from Figma. In Bricks Builder, whenever you add a section, it automatically comes with a container element inside it. We'll be using this container element as a grid for our layout. Let me rename this container element to grid. In the content panel, change the display property of this container from flex to grid. This will convert the container element into a CSS grid. Let's define our grid template now. In the grid template columns, define a 1fr by 2fr grid. This creates a 2 column grid as you can see here. Add a gap of 4 rem between your grid columns. Insert 2 divs inside your grid element. We'll be adding our content inside these two divs. The first div will be our heading wrapper and the second div will be the card wrapper. Now select the heading wrapper div and add another div element inside it. I'm going to name this one as heading. Add a heading and a basic text element inside this div. I'll quickly copy the text and paste it into the heading and the text element and change its color as well. Let's change the font color of both these text elements to white. I'll also change the font size of the heading to 2.5 rem and the text size to 1.125 rem. You may have noticed that the heading and the text element do not have any spacing between them. To add spacing, click on the heading div and set its display property to flex and change the flex direction to vertical. Now scroll down and add a row gap of 1 rem or 16 px. There we go. Now let's build a card element. Inside the card wrapper div, insert another div element and name it card item. Now let's build the card element. Since all cards in our design are going to have some common styling, let's give this div a class name called card double dash item. Change the display property of this card item to flex and the flex direction to vertical. Add a row gap of 1 rem. We are doing this so that the items inside our card have proper spacing between them. Now switch to the style tab and add a padding of 2 rem on all sides. Then add a border radius of 32 px to this class. You can now deselect the class so that you don't add any more styling to the card item class. Let's head back to Figma and copy the color code of the first yellow card. Paste this color code to the background of this card element. Now let's add an SVG element along with a header and a basic text element to our card. Select the SVG element and let's upload the SVG used in our design. Let's give it a width of 2 rem and change its color as well. Now I'll go back to Figma and copy and paste the heading text. I'll also give it a font size of 1.5 rem and a dark color. I'll do the same for the text element and paste the content from Figma and give it a font color. Our card is now ready and looks beautiful. Go ahead and make 3 duplicate copies of the card. You can do that by selecting the card element and right click duplicate or use the shortcut key Ctrl Shift D or Command Shift D if you're using a Mac. So we have our cards ready but there is no spacing between them. Let's fix that. I'm sure by now you already know how to do it. Select the card wrapper element and change its display property to flex. Then change the flex direction to vertical and finally add a row gap of 2 rem to have enough spacing between these cards. Let's customize each card by changing the background colors and the content inside them. 
make sure the card item class is deselected when you do this otherwise it will apply the styling to all cards and our beautiful cards are now ready let's save the page and preview it live so now as you can see our layout is fully ready but right before we implement the sticky card effect let's make these cards mobile responsive the cards look great on the tablet view so i'm not going to change anything here in the mobile landscape mode let's change the grid layout to have one column so select the grid element and change the grid template columns to one fr We'll also change the row gap from 4 REM to 2 REM. Now switch to the portrait mode and you'll notice our grid is responsive here as well. That's because the styles cascade down from a higher breakpoint to a lower breakpoint. So whatever changes we made to the landscape mode cascade down to the portrait mobile mode as well. Once you're done, switch back to the desktop mode and select the first card item which is the yellow one in our case. Switch to the style tab and open the layout settings. Scroll down a little and you'll find positioning options. Here, change the position from static to sticky and add a top value of 4 REM. Now, on scrolling down, you'll see that the first card item sticks to the top. The reason we added the 4 REM at the top is so that the card has some spacing and it doesn't stick to the very top. We'll do the same for the second card and change its position to sticky and add a top spacing of 4 REM as well. Let's scroll down and see how it looks. As you can see, the pink card also sticks to the top on scroll, but it completely overlaps the previous yellow card. This doesn't give us the desired stacking effect we want to achieve. So in your second card item settings, change the top spacing value from 4 REM to 6 REM. Now you'll see there's an extra space between both the cards when they stick to the top, and we get our desired stacking effect. What this basically means is that we are making the first card sticky with an offset of 4 REM. So whatever top value you give, the element will move away that much from the position. So in our case, we are going to keep increasing this value by 2 REM for every card so that a small part of the card behind is visible. Let's select the third card item which is the green card and set its position to sticky and the top value to 8 REM. Finally, select the last card and do the same by setting its position to sticky and giving it a top value of 10 REM. Now you'll see that the cards are stacking up properly except for the last one which isn't scrolling all the way to the top like the others. That's because the scroll bar has reached the bottom. So let me just add a section at the bottom quickly to see if all cards are stacking up properly or not. As you can see, all the four cards now stack up beautifully one after the another. Let's check the live preview of the page. And there we go. We successfully made the stacked card scrolling effect. But we've left something out. As we are scrolling down, the content in the left column scrolls up and the column looks empty. So we are going to make this column sticky as well. Click on the heading div and go to the layout settings. Scroll down to the positioning settings and set the position to sticky and give it a top value of 4 REM. Now let's head back to the live preview and check. And there you go, the left column sticks to the top as well. Our stack cards effect is ready and it looks really beautiful on all responsive breakpoints. One last thing that I wanted to mention is that sometimes your cards will not be on top of each other in the right order. So there could be cases where the first card is at the top of the second card, but the third one is at the most bottom. In case that happens, you can fix that by giving each card a z-index value. So you can give all your cards a z-index from 0 to 3, with 0 being the bottommost element and 4 being the topmost element. Just remember, a higher z-index value means that element will be at the top of the stacking order. So that's how you can stack up cards on scroll in WordPress. I hope you enjoyed this video and until then keep learning, keep designing.